Hey guys, we're just about to do the last of Derek's song clues and just to show you the location of where you need to head to, it's essentially just south of Death Mountain. So if you just kind of head down here and what you're looking for is Darb Pond. And once you get to Darb Pond, you will find these blocks, a circle in the middle and lava underneath it. So essentially it's just the case of moving these blocks. Now we've already moved them from up there and there's a lasantho to take out and some fire keys to take out as well. But once you've got those out of the equation, you can move these blocks. And now it's suddenly just the case of using Magnesis to move these two ideally into the middle. Now that is one dropped and we just need to get the next one and place it on top. Okay, so we've got one kind of tilted, so now we're just gonna fly over them, now that we've got the two of them side by side, and we're hoping that we can just stand on this crate over here. It's slightly tilted out of the water, which we can do. And that reveals yet another shrine. <laughs> but the problem is we're kind of stuck here. <laughs> we can't get to that shrine. Uh, but we figured the easiest thing to do would be simply to die. Okay, so we had to die for it, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth the effort. Uh, where is that shrine? It's up here, okay. So that is it. That is Survive Lava's Fiery Fate, and we've managed to get a new shrine, and it is the Reno Honika Shrine. And we're gonna take that on in our next walkthrough video. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you check out the rest of our videos with a link at the end of this video. Subscribe to the channel, leave any comments below, and share online. We'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers, goodbye.